guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season one, episode eleven of The Fosters. This time, the title of the episode is "The Honeymoon," and I am excited because, oh, bitch! The previous episode with the wedding was just the most amazing thing ever. I have, I have, a, I have. I don't think I have witnessed a lesbian wedding in a while, you know? So it was it was amazing. It meant a lot to me and it was just so, so perfect, you know? So I am excited to watch a new episode also because Callie, you know, decided to run away and I don't like that. She's part of this family. She needs to come back. So we'll see how this honeymoon goes. I'm guessing that it kind of will be stopped at the fact that they have to look for Callie or they're gonna be worried about Callie. So we'll see. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction video for this episode. Uh, please, if you love my reactions for the Fosters, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and also go to Patreon to watch the extended version for this reaction and so much more. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 11 of The Fosters. <laughs> I love I love this look. It is so cute. They're so soft. <laughs> they look so happy. They look so fucking. Well, oh my god! Look at this guy right here. I bitch, kill me right now. Kill me there. They're so soft. They're so soft. And my god, I wanna cry. Oh, the episode just started, and I'm already freaking out. Bitch, I deserve this. I deserve this. After everything they put me through with, like, Lexa and, like, all the other couples that I shipped and never get, like, enough screen time, I deserve this. I deserve this. I have... I. This is my reward for putting so much for the other ships. Well, Word of advice to the newly married? We say yes. It's so <laughs> never do, so shut up. <laughs> all right. Adoption. Have you thought this through? Um, yes, ma'am. They have. But I, I mean, she worries, so I hate that she did this. But I feel like she feels responsible, you know, for messing things up. Quiet! <laughs> now I'm leaving California, shit. You can't be together. They won't adopt us. It's kind of weird well, that they we, um, hook up after the announcement. They figure something out, you know? You're no better than Liam. Hey! <gasps> Whoa. I'm not Liam. I love Callie. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Oh, whoa, he's deep. I thought he just liked her. And no one noticed that the guitar is right there. If Sleeping Beauty had had this bed, <laughs> then she would wake she up. I <laughs> wanted that prince to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be cool. better to get rid of the Nimrod and buy yourself a bed? I mean, you yes. Punches, do you? Yeah, it's good. You're just like my daughter. I'm a taco. <laughs> He's so adorable. You'll understand once you fall in love. It's just what happens. Okay, so I don't understand because I've never really had a boyfriend before. No, no, she's not trying to like. You know what? Do I, that. I could use a break. Is where an alien spaceship landed. No. It's not <laughs> hey, but you think that aliens are real? The government is going to such great lengths to make everything seem fake. Just throw us off. Good point. Is he gonna be at the Era Fifty One thing? Right. No, I see. So. You'd be a really good time traveler. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I'd wreak havoc everywhere I go. Oh, sweetie. What about you? He's better off without me. I mean, he was upset, you know? He was upset about... He's gonna notice now. Yeah, finally. She's gone. She ran away. Oh, shit. Is Callie gonna go back to Julie? I don't know, but I, I promise you that everything is gonna be okay. Will they like, 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 take him out of the house? The bathroom. I hope you keep Jude. Can they? He's amazing, and so is his sister. Oh, I just don't sweetie. understand. I don't understand. Oh, I don't sweetie. understand. Well, they, there's something that they're not telling oh. her, so that's why she doesn't get it. Oh, we'll be fine. We have plenty of help. She's so sweet. What happened? I like the mom. mom. Happy wedding! We love our old bed, Mom. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. This is what goes up. That's so sweet. I love the mom. I love the so, mom. 
It's like you automatically assume that everybody gives up on you. That's Maybe so he's, true. Maybe he's looking for you. Why? He's gonna go and try to search for her dad? I mean, Wyatt is a really good person. He tells her like it is, and like, he supports and whatever we should Gonna make a can. bed on the floor? <laughs> you can sleep in the bed with me, fool. You sure? <laughs> but he's still a boy. Did he keep doing his sleep? Are you going somewhere? <gasps> Where is Callie? Oh shit! What happened? He called them? She's already gone? She's a cop, she will know what to do. God damn it. I'm gonna need two sandwiches, otherwise I'm starving to death. Uh, <laughs> then I can make what? How about peanut butter? Anybody abusing the peanuts? <laughs> it's kind of fattening. Oh god. Cool. Good. <laughs> peanut butter for you. I love this. Oh look at him. Sure. Um, Bless his soul. I mean, do you think they're like a couple again? Did she say anything to you? Dude, no, I don't think so. Dude, it's not the moment to think about this. I just, I don't. You can't be late. Your mom's gonna kill me. It's okay. You did good. Mom's car won't start. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, everyone in my car. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I have a daughter. If she were out on the streets on her own, I'd want someone to tell her to go home. Oh, Kelly. I feel so bad for her. Get a map and make a plan. There's not a mark on a map that says Callie is here, okay? So this is the plan, all right? This is the plan. This is it's all okay. I've got. It's okay. She's just frustrated. What else I was right her. about? What are you just gonna, gonna leave do? them there? We have to pay for those. Yes, we're just gonna leave them there. Okay. And they fired him. And I oh, guess that shit. was the final straw, you know? I think they're just tired of being afraid all the time. All oh, these songs, poor Lexi. Oh my God. Don't say anything you don't mean, okay? Well, I mean this. I love you. Yes. If I have to wait a while, so I'm gonna be with you again. I mean, it's, it's nice that he thinks that he will wait, but he's young. I think that's why we work, you know? We balance each other out. Maybe I think that's why they work. At least one of us is right. Well, I think we were both wrong about Kelly. No, actually, it's just you guys don't know the entire story. And Brandon should tell them! I completely... Screwed this up. I'm really, really oh, sorry. Oh, look at you! My poor baby! She didn't leave because of you. She left because of me. Oh, <laughs> it's not your fault, Jude. I hate this. Is she saw by herself. Please tell me she's back home. <laughs> oh, no, please, no. Is that a sound Thanks. there and didn't come get them? If she shoplifts something, maybe they will, you know. And she's just gonna eat it, okay. Hey, you gotta pay for that. I don't have any money. Well, then put it back. I don't know what your problem is. You take one bite of that candy bar, I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> That's kind of badass, but come on, sweetheart, you're asking for trouble. Yeah, this is. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode 11 of The Fosters. And, you know, even though the title of the episode was Honeymoon, uh, I did like the fact that they had, like, a really sweet moment at the beginning and also all the sweet moments between uh, Steph and, his, and her mom. And, you know, they, they're just, you know, amazing. But I did knew coming in that... Um, it was going to be much more about Callie uh, because she left and of course it was going to be a prior priority for them because that is the type of, of people that they are. They're worried about her. They don't understand what happened and they are just, you know, so upset by it, you know. And in a way, I think that, you know, yes, we can have a honeymoon. It wouldn't... Boy, it be amazing... Or realistic that they have like a moment for themselves and be romantic and all of that yes but it's also very much um, perfect normal for for this show to have an important episode like this one be about something else rather than just the couple you know uh, why because life happens and in this show that is the 
I don't know. I think that's the basis, basic of this show, basis of this show, which is just life happens, you know? So you have one moment, you have uh, them um, together, being in love, being happy, uh, and all of that. And the next moment, they have to worry about their, their children. And life continues, you know? Uh, whether if it's for, for the best or for the worst, it happens, you know, and I love that they are true to what the show is about, and I like that, you know. Uh, I feel bad about uh, Callie, but Callie, to me right now, is some sort of an enigma. I sometimes I'm very well at, you know, kind of like knowing the characters and getting to understand them fully. Uh, I don't feel like I fully understand Callie. I don't understand everything that is happening in her head. Mostly because we do have um, um, a notion of who she is. Or rather, what she has gone through. But it's impossible for me at this moment to know exactly how Callie feels. You know, And it's wonderful because you don't want to be... Uh, 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 just a character like an open book all the time. It's good to be enigmatic and mysterious in a way. Even the song that they were singing uh, when we were seeing Callie was about a mysterious girl and all of that. So I like that, you know. Um, and the thing with, with Callie is that I, I like the fact that I don't fully understand her. I understand that she has this uh, abandonment issues that she is uh not long like she is not able to like process uh also i understand that she believes herself to be selfish due to what happened to jude and her taking she will rather take all the responsibility all the blame you know and just pushing people apart because people who were supposed to choose her like her dad never do you know so right now she is like i'm not gonna mess this up for jude and she has just you know also she's a teenager so of course she's gonna be like impulsive and think this is the best best thing for jude and instead of me staying here and actually working uh the problem i'm just gonna leave and he will be okay because at least he's with a family that is decent and he will have a good future you know and I'm done, you know, I, 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 I can't fix me because I'm just too broken to be fixed. I feel like she, that is what she feels, you know. Um, of course, Steph and Lena don't know the entire story. And I have to be honest, the other person who is being very selfish right now is Brandon. Because Brandon should, should tell them the reason why she ran away. Own, it, own up to that, you know? Why? Because that will lead them to understand why she's leaving, you know? And also will help them maybe try to get her back. Uh, but no, he doesn't say anything. And I understand that it has to be kept a secret, guessing for a little bit longer, because, you know, she is there. She can be taken away from the, ho from the house and, like, also, Jude can be taken away from it, and I understand why he's not doing it. But, you know, I think that it's so unfair for both Lena and Steph to be going around in circles thinking they did something wrong, you know, when it wasn't the case. It was more, and honestly, something that, you know, very, I mean, Brandon is not like Liam. I mean, in no way he is like Lynn. He's not taking advantage of of Callie at all. Uh, and Callie was, you know, really reluctant at first. But it, it, I don't feel like he is taking advantage of the situation because he has the upper hand. Because if she says something like what happened with Leanne, you know, she's the one who's going to get sent sent away. And it's nothing, nothing like that. You know, it's just two kids who happen to like each other, but they are in this situation where they cannot um, be together, you know. And the thing that you tell teenagers not to do is the thing that excites them the most, and they want to do it. So, of course, they, they will think about doing this. Um, and also, Brandon seems like he's in love. He's say he was in love. Uh, and I, I honestly, I hate 
I, I hate that, you know, one, I hate that he was compared to Liam, which the situations from the outside might look similar, even though it's not like that, because they are very close to age. It's not like, like Liam, who was a lot older. Um, so uh, it wasn't like that, but it's still... I find it weird that it happens after they announced that they were going to get adopted. So it just left a bad taste in my mouth because, I don't know, it felt weird, you know? Because, I mean, it felt weird. I, I, I That's all I'm saying. It felt weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love the episode. I also love the conversation between Jude and Steph's mom. And he was like, oh, you like you like the bed then why don't you break up with your boyfriend and just buy yourself a bed, you know? And it's so, like, it could be such a me metaphor for life, like, to any person who is just with with uh, another, whatever gender you are. It doesn't matter if you're a female with a male, a male with a male, a male with a, f with a well, wait, female with female, male with male, male with female. Whatever combination it is, you know, it doesn't matter. You have to, you know, be able to... To be with a person because you love them, not because you got used to it, not because it's too hard to start over with someone else, or just because you like the perks of being with that person. You are your you are your own person, and you need to buy your own things, you know, and live your own way. And like I think that that conversation was like so cute, but yet so important. So I I really really like that. And Jude is just like. He's so precious. I love that kid so much. And I love that the mom, you know, says, he reminds me of you, you know. And that was so beautiful. Because I love Jude. And I wish, I wish, I mean, I know that he's a kid actor. So, of course, he cannot work uh, a lot of hours like the other actors. Uh, but I wish that he could be a lot more a lot more, ha have a lot more scenes. Like, he was crying and tearing up. I, I almost, I almost cry as well. Uh, he's so sweet, and I, I, I just love that kid. Um, but yeah, overall, the episode was really good. I love Wyatt. Wyatt? Yes, I love Wyatt as well, because he's so sweet, and he knew that he had to, like, you know, uh, tell Steph and Lena where she was, it was really sweet that he did that. Sadly, um, uh, what is her name? Callie f found out and like l saw them, and you know she ran away uh, again. And it's so sad, and her and Steph's like scream, is screaming, Callie, and she was like so emotional, I almost died. Like it was so so sad. Uh, either way, loved the episode. Even if it was heartbreaking, loved it. Hopefully, Callie... Well, Callie was kind of pissed, and instead of calling her moms... Well, they're not her moms yet. Uh, but, you know, instead of calling them, she goes into, like, like a very destructive type of thing, where she, like, eats the things, and she's like, you know, yeah, call the cops. Call the cops, I dare you. But, like, they're gonna find her, you know, because of that. So that's good, I guess, because... I mean, they cannot suffer this much, you know. Uh, but I, anyways, oh, 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 Lexi going, that was really sad as well. The promise that Jesus made, while it's sweet, it's not realistic because he is still a teenage boy. So it's, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to happen, okay? Uh, but it was really sweet. I really did like the reaction, the reaction. The episode. <laughs> hope that you guys like the reaction. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Give it a lot of thumbs up. If you love the Fosters, subscribe for more comic hit notification bell. And you can go to Patreon to watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the Fosters. Mwah! Bye, guys. <laughs>